is your opinion about the uh, speeches of Ukrainian politicians who are candidates for the presidency? Were they uh, informa uh, informative and were they? what is your attitude to them? Well, firstly, I think we, we've heard some very different speeches. The, the one from the, the, the president uh, was, I think, s strong in terms of uh, his personal commitment. And uh, it was very loud, which was one thing I found personally are, uh, somewhat off-putting, but I understand that that does work well with a Ukrainian audience. In terms of content, I thought there was nothing there that was new. And uh, I was very surprised by things he said about the anti-corruption court and how it was going to be independent and uh, when it seems that many of his actions in fact have been designed to do exactly the, uh, the opposite. But clearly he, he is struggling to find a, a message, a, a platform, uh, the, the church, uh, this, this sort of new message, uh, clearly the constitution. Um, he, he's, he's staked out his ground and it's clear where he's going to stand. I thought today uh, we, we heard three speeches, uh, certainly the most pas pas passionate was uh, Yulia Tymoshenko and uh, she is clearly going to be a strong campaigner and she can speak well, uh, I thought she managed the audience here well, uh, but she struggled in the questions and I thought Stephen Sacker asked her really the, some very tough questions, the toughest of all and she should have been prepared and I was surprised that she didn't put up a better defence. I was um, a little surprised by Anatoly Grusenko's decision to speak English because it didn't seem to me that he was actually talking to his electorate, he was talking to the audience here, which was in marked contrast to all the other, uh, let, let's say, uh, contenders, if we include Mr. Vakachuk. Uh, I thought he was, um, his, his English is good, uh, but it limits him. And uh, while I think there was substance to what he was saying, uh, it didn't come across in the same way, not with the same force. He seemed something, if I might say, of a lightweight in this um, context compared to the others. As far as Mr. Vakachuk is concerned, I think he's the big mystery. And uh, he, uh, he radiated a certain charm, freshness, humor, all those things that I think probably Ukrainian voters would like to, like to see, that he is something new. But he re remains tantalizingly vague on certain points. I didn't think he helped himself by saying my education advisor is a school teacher in Odessa, my economics advisor is somebody who can't get a job in Lviv. Uh, it didn't sound serious in terms of a team. So will he be able to build a, build a team? I thought he, he has the ability to talk to an interviewer like Stephen Saka with um, a degree of confidence. Uh, but it was all a little bit too foggy for me, a little too vague. Uh, but let's see whether he will commit himself or not. But I imagine if he does, that he will mobilize support. But can he mobilize a team? And, and again, uh, we also uh, say that Mr. Vakarchuk is taken seriously abroad as a politician and as a, a candidate for the presidency. Not yet. I don't think so, because he needs to outline a real policy program uh, beyond the, the sort of cliches that, that uh, politicians or would-be politicians um, en engage in. And uh, he said some interesting things today. If he can present a program and present a team, then I think he'll be, he'll be viewed differently. And certainly people in Europe are well aware that uh, after the, the Macron experience that uh, people can seemingly come from nowhere. But Macron had experience of government. Uh, Mr. Vakachou was obviously in Parliament for a year, but I think that's a, a rather different thing. Well, on the other hand, what's I think very clear to people outside the country and people like me who watch Ukraine is that there is this, this uh, appetite in society for new faces, new political faces. And what's on show at the moment is not really very appetizing. So he can play into that, and uh, if he's skillful uh, and he moves at the right time, he might get some momentum. But he's going to struggle at the same time against these experienced um, political animals, as he described them. Uh, they will make life very hard for him.